filming things makes me feel very Libra-ish. It's hard to make decisions. I'm stupid. Okay. Was the chorizo cut a proper thing? No, none of this was right. Oh. Okay, I'm joking. We're not actually recording anything right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're bringing you another recipe. Currently, we are being hit by the first major snowstorm of the season here in New York City. And growing up, anytime it was snowy or we were sick in the house, there was one thing on the menu, and that was this soup, caldo gallego. It is traditionally from Spain. There was this amazing Cuban place on the corner of Roosevelt Avenue and Junction Boulevard, which is no longer there, sadly. Um, and there were these two old Cuban men and they used to make the best Cuban sandwiches, black beans, and this soup. So we're going to make up a pot today because it is the perfect thing to have on a cold, snowy day. The basis of our soup is white beans. We have some greens and some salted pork. So that's, that's pretty much it. It's straightforward and delicious. So we have two cans of white beans. We have two links of chorizo. We have some pig's feet, which is what I grew up eating traditionally. If you don't want to have pig's feet, you can use bacon, you can use smoked ham, or you can omit it altogether. But I like it. It adds a nice richness and yeah. With two potatoes cubed up, two small onions finely chopped, and eight cloves of garlic, as well as six cups of broth, and our kale. So we're just gonna assemble it. All right, so today I am making this in my Instant Pot, but traditionally I would just make it in a stove top and in a big soup pot. So whatever you have on hands, do it. We're gonna start by being more prepared because I don't have my pot thing. <laughs> you want me to cut? I got it here. Boom. Okay. So first things first, make sure your Instant Pot is assembled correctly. So I'm just going to hit saute and start it. All right. So we're going to add just a little touch of oil, preferably olive oil, but I didn't have any. So I'm just going to use regular oil. And to that, I'm going to add my chorizo and start to render it down, which is just a fancy word for like all the fat to melt out and make everything delicious. All right, so now that some of the fat has rendered out of our chorizo, we're going to add our onions right into the mix and saute them for a bit until they're translucent. So now that our onions are mostly translucent, we are going to add in our garlic and give it a stir and let it cook for a minute or two. Boom, 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 boom. And give it a nice stir and let that cook for a minute or two until nicely fragrant. God, this smells so good already. Okay, and to this, I'm just gonna add my pig's feet. Boom. My potatoes. Yes. 
pail. Runaway kill, never coming back. Now we're going to add in our bro. Give this a good stir. Make sure to get any fond that has forms on the bottom. Which fond is just fancy way of saying the stuff that's burned onto the bottom of the pan. Okay, now I'm going to add in the rest of our pail. Just want to make sure the kale cooks down a little bit because kale cooks down rather a lot but this is a pressure cooker, so there is a max line, and we don't want to get crazy. I ain't trying to be like, you know, tranny dies in Instapot explosion. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's, it's, you know, it's been a scary year already. Let's not test it. Safety first. And to this, Add my cans of beans. This is the oldest, most ratchet um, can opener. But she's doing good on camera today, okay? She's an actress, apparently. She's like, just waiting. Got one can of beans. Again, you can make this with rinsed beans or dried beans, especially if you're using a pressure cooker. I'm gonna give this a nice stir. We have incorporated all of our ingredients well. We are up below the max line on our instant pot and we are ready to go now that all of our ingredients are incorporated we are going to put our lid on and now that our lid's on we're going to set it to pressure cook on high for 30 minutes, and then we are going to let it naturally vent for 20 minutes, and we will be back when it's done. So our Instant Pot is done cooking. We've let it naturally vent. And now we're just going to release any last little bit of steam and oh, pressure that's in there. That's real important because otherwise she could um, pop off in a way that we do not want. It smells very beany. And now, we're going to open her up. And we can see 
Looking lovely. It smells delicious. There you have it. We are all done. This smells delicious and the best way to have it in my opinion. So it's a hot sauce, specifically Tabasco sauce, but that could just be a nostalgia thing. Something about the how vinegary Tabasco sauce is pairs really well with the greens and it's just The perfect cold weather food, whether it's snowing or not. I love this soup because you can have it now. You can let it reduce some until it gets nice and thick and hearty, and it's delicious. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below and let us know what you'd like to see next. Make sure to stay safe and warm, and I'll see you soon. Bye!